All right, what's good with it, Black Goose TV family? Salute to the people, man. Hopefully, y'all Friday is going absolutely amazing. Uh, I want to go ahead and talk about this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be over the top with it. I just want to get you guys' opinion on it to be 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? I want you to know what you guys think. So um, this has to do with Clarissa Shields, okay? Obviously, we just had Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano happen. Uh, it made history when it came to women's boxing. Had, you know, so many people, you know, outside of the boxing world or outside of, you know, who outside of people who enjoy women's boxing, talking about the fight, watching the fight, et cetera, et cetera, right? Made some leaps and bounds, right? And in that happening, obviously, the conversation of Clarissa Shields came up uh, because there is a majority of people who believe Clarissa Shields to be the quote um, of women's boxing, right? And the reason why she came up, not because it had anything to do with them, but just because there is another super fight waiting in the limbs or there's another super fight that we can probably consider that could possibly be just as big as um, Katie Taylor versus uh, Amanda Serrano when it comes to the uh, woman's boxing world in a Clarissa Shields versus a Savannah Marshall fight. Now, um, with that being said, Savannah, excuse me, uh, Clarissa Shields during that fight week, she had an interview and, you know, she made it known that, hey, I've been one in the Savannah Marshall fight. I've been saying, hey, I want to fight her, me and Marshall, we should make it happen. But she was the one who ducked. She's the one who hasn't responded. She's the one who hasn't signed papers. She's the one who hasn't initiated everything, even though it seems as if she wants to fight. Now, I have not heard from Savannah Marshall. I haven't uh, uh, watched the interview on Savannah Marshall as a response to her saying that. And I'm not sure she's even responded to it. So um, I want to say this. This isn't me being biased any type of way because I had somebody come at me in the comments and saying I was pushing the rhetoric and I was you know I was trying to make it seem like I was uh Marshall was scared or I'm, I'm no I'm not doing that I don't, I don't I don't know what's going on behind the scenes all I can do is talk about report and and and, and discuss whatever a fighter says in an interview and that's it that's all I can do I can't sit here and tell them they're wrong or they're right I can speculate but at the end of the day, if I'm covering something that has to do with a particular statement by a fighter, then obviously that's what I have to do. I can't all of a sudden bring in, hey, but she's lying and Savannah Marshall is going to beat her up and da 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 I don't know that because I haven't heard from Savannah. Obviously, we know Marshall wants this fight. She's made it clear that she wants this fight, right? But at the same time, with her making it clear, Shields has some things to say in response as well. And you can't be mad at her for that, okay? It's part of the game. It's part of it all. And now if you take that as me, pandering if you take that as me you know you know blowing smoke up your ass or you know uh uh uh, uh, uh promoting propaganda whatever the fuck y'all said to me whatever man turn me off don't watch me it is what it is but let's go ahead and get into this i want to see specifically what clarissa shields had to say as you can see from the title of the article i have been telling people for years savannah marshall is absolutely terrified of me the question that i want to give you guys uh black goose tv family do you think that's true in any type of way let's go to the quote specifically to see what she had to say. So, I am already fully prepared to win this fight and to go to the UK to fight her, Shields told Metro.co.uk. I have been telling people for years, she is terrified of me. No matter how many girls she has knocked out or what her record may show, she knows I'm a different kind of animal, and she will not be able to knock me out or walk all over me is going to be the toughest, excuse me, toughest fight of her life. That win in the amateurs when I was 17 is where her confidence comes from. I have already proven that I'm better than her with my two Olympic gold medals, my world championship, my world titles in three different divisions. I'm hoping it's going to be this summer because I have other things I want to do before the end of the year. I don't have time to be waiting around for Savannah Marshall to show up. I have got business to attend in MMA in 2023, and then I'm getting married in 2024, so I don't really have time to wait for Marshmallow to get her shit together. I'm never going to put my own career on hold for Savannah Marshall or for anybody. So what do you guys think about this? What do you think about that particular statement? Okay. Um, Shield is saying, let's get this done. I want to fight in the summer. I don't want to, I don't want to wait. I don't want to hold it off. Um, because obviously you can see, like, look, I, I can understand where Clarissa is coming from, whether or not Marshall wants to fight, or whether or not Marshall wants to fight on her terms in the case of, hey, I just fought not too long ago. Let me get a little bit of time. Let's, you know, find the right date, right venue, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Clarissa is more so like, I don't want to do that. All right, let's get this done as quickly as possible. Let's make it happen. Let's get in the ring. Some people might say, oh, well, that's Shields first forcing her hand. Other people might say that's Marshall being like, oh, well, why don't you want to fight? If you if you know you can knock her out, you wouldn't care about the time or date. I think it just comes down to business. I think. Caressa's making more money in MMA. So she's like, hey, I'm not going to sit around and wait for a fight that 
will happen, right? It's, I, I, and, and to me, I don't think it has to, like, this is all part of marketing and promoting. She's saying, you know, Savannah's scared of her, all that type of stuff. Obviously, Marshall's not scared of her any type of way, but I think it's more so coming down to the fact where she's saying, I'm not going to wait around for a payday that's going to be significantly less than the payday I'm getting in another sport I'm competing in. If I'm getting ready to make a comeback in MMA in 2023, and I'm assuming if she's making that known, then I'm assuming she's probably going to put her entire focus on MMA next year and only do MMA. She's basically telling us like, Hey, this year I'm boxing. I got two fights in here. I got some plan for the end of the year. If we don't get that in, Hey, I'm not looking back and I'm not holding off on it because she's making money outside of this sport. And let's be real. You can't, criticize Caressa, you can't criticize Savannah Marshall the same way you may criticize Katie Taylor or Amanda Serrano if they don't take the rematch. Why? Because the money behind it isn't the same. Caressa's not going to get paid six figures to fight Marshall and Marshall's not going to get paid six figures to fight uh, Caressa. Katie got paid six figures. Amanda got paid six figures. So Caressa does have the right to say I'm not going to wait around for a bag that's less than the bag that I'm going to get if I move on. Makes total sense to me, but if you a fanboy, like I'm the fanboy, right? I, I was told you're a fanboy, you're da 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 da, but I'm literally talking numbers and business, and you're just talking about how how much stronger and how much better of a boxer Savannah Marshall is. None of that shit matters, nigga. If we talking money, bro, and that's what a lot of you fans don't get when y'all watching my shit. You think uh, you y'all be too, and I know y'all don't watch it into its entirety, so y'all too be too focused on. What is he finna say about my favorite fighter so I can get mad and tell him how much he's wrong and he ain't shit and he has no blah, 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 blah. Rather than being like, bro, I'm not even looking at it from that perspective. I'm always looking at it from a very business side unless I'm just breaking down like a clip of hitting a heavy bag or, you know, mitts or something like that. I'll be a little bit more technical. But when we talk about this shit or fights going to happen, it always is based around business. If you were OG of the channel, which I know y'all ain't if you commenting that bullshit. You know, I don't believe in the word duck. Ain't nobody ducking nobody. The only people who ducks anyone in boxing is the fucking promoters and managers. Because it's all about whatever makes sense. That's what we finna be fucking with. But anyways, that's it. I already made this video longer than I wanted. I ain't gonna talk no more. Please drop it. Uh, your opinion in the comments below if you agree with me, disagree or nothing. I love it, man. It gives me more content. It makes me more be able to talk about more shit, all that type of stuff. But appreciate you as always. What y'all think about the story? I'm out.